The last thing I want to do in this video is run through how we sketch a linear function when we're given the equation itself. So here I have h of t is equal to minus 2t plus 8. The first thing I'll do is label these axes. The input axis is t, as t is our input variable, and our output axis is h of t. Okay, so we can read directly from this function that our slope is minus 2 and our h-intercept, in this case, is 8. So I can plot that 8 straight away. Let me label these axes here quickly. Open 1, so that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Do the same scale on the t-axis. All right. Okay, so I can plot that plus 8 h-intercept right away. Now, using the same methods as before, we could go and use our slope to find more points along this line. So I could say that as I have a slope of minus 2, it means that for every one unit I go out along the t-axis, I will end up two units down. So I will end up at 6. Do the same thing again. If I run out one unit, I rise minus two. If I run out one, I rise minus two, and so on. And I could do this and get a few points along my line, and then take my ruler and connect those points that I have labeled. Now, to draw a line, we only ever need two points. So we don't have to use this method, although it is actually quite convenient. What we could do is just find one other point and connect the two. And the most convenient point to find is usually the x-intercept, or in this case, it will be the t-intercept. So where the line crosses the horizontal axis. And to do this, we say that our output is equal to zero. So in this case, h would be equal to zero along that horizontal axis. So we say 0 is equal to minus 2t plus 8, and we rearrange to solve for t. 2t is equal to 8, which means t is 8 over 2, which is 4. So the t-intercept is 4, and we can see that I already have that point marked on the graph. But my point is we don't need to use the slope method when sketching. We can just mark our h-intercept, which we can read directly from the equation, and to find a second point, we set the output to be 0 and solve for t to find the t-intercept.